our brains are hardwired to handle fear, to protect us. So if you go back to Darwin's theory about the brain and survival instincts and things like that, what I realized is that historically our evolution has been to protect. We want to protect ourselves. We want to protect our genes. We want to protect our families. We want to protect everything. I looked up at the peak, my destination. It was an unusually warm spring day, and I was thusly engrossed in my hike when, wait, something was moving, and I stopped and my nerves shifted into overdrive because I realized there was a living creature on the trail just in front of me, and it was a rattlesnake. And those of you who know about rattlesnakes, if you instinctually stop and freeze and not move, the snake usually keeps moving because it's unaware of you. And do you know what happened after that point on my hike up the mountain? Every root, every stick on the path I perceived it to be a rattlesnake until I could calm myself down, take another look or a third look and realize, no, that's just a stick. That's just a piece of wood. You're listening to What's Your Conversational Intelligence? And I'm your host, Lynn Christian. And in this edition, we're going to discuss a conversational blind spot that some of you may have read about in Judith E. Glazer's book, Conversational Intelligence, How Great Leaders Build Trust and Get Extraordinary Results. So, Judith, I'm curious, how come fear can influence our reality so intensely? Come on the line and talk to us about that. 